question nine from paper two of the 2014 National Five. Another little three mark question. Not quite as straightforward as number eight though. Although, again here they say the correct answer without working, you would get three out of three, but you wouldn't take your chance with that. You'd put something down. You'd definitely do something with number nine. You'd set it out properly. So the first thing is, you can only add and subtract fractions if they've got the same denominators. You need to change them into the same denominators. And the thing that would always work would be simply multiplying them. We'd have to just multiply them in this case because you don't know what these numbers are. They could be any numbers. They may not, may or may not have factors in common. So you just have to go for this times that will be a new denominator. But I'm not going to write it down twice. That will get changed into something over x times x plus 5. That will get changed into something over x times x plus 5. So the final answer will just be out of x times x plus 5. So that would be the first mark for getting that new denominator, the one they can both be changed into. And it was just a case of going through the process of making that fraction into an equal fraction out of this new denominator, this bigger denominator. How much bigger? Well, I already had the x plus 5, so it's x times bigger. So the top will have to be x times bigger, so that will change into 7x. And it's a subtract. This fraction has to be changed into an equal fraction with this new, bigger denominator. How much bigger? Well, I've already got the x. It's x plus 5 times bigger. So you make the top x plus 5 times bigger. So it'll be 3 multiplied by x plus 5. That's your second mark. And the third mark will be for just tidying that up. So you could do it all in your head. Or you could spell it out. So I've got the 7x, which won't change, but I've got minus 3 times x, so that's minus 3x, and minus 3 times 5, so that's minus 15. You could have made a mistake there with that plus, for instance. There'd be a good reason not for doing it in your head for one final answer for three marks, because if you made a mistake and had that as a plus in your final answer, you'd get nothing out of three. Whereas this working preserves two of the marks at least out of x times x plus 5. So finally, I've got 7x take away 3x is 4x minus 15, out of x times x plus 5 for the third mark. Now there is a possibility you might go further than that and lose that mark if you do something daft like saying, oh wait a minute, I'll knock that x out with that x. Or maybe I'll cancel that 5 with that 15. You can't divide x out of the bottom without dividing x out of all of the top. Yes, I could cancel that x out. But I'd have to cancel this x out as in dividing that part of the top by x, but I'd also have to cancel that out. And that would then become 15 over x, which is worse than it was. So that's your best answer. Just remember, don't cancel products with sums and differences. Those are two separate parts. This is just one part.